Hello little artists, I'm Mariana Olson and today we are drawing a folding surprise for Independence Day. Are you ready? Let's do this! Ok, we are going to need paper, something to color with, I'm using markers and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. We are going to start folding the paper in half, then we are going to take the bottom part and fold in half again. Now we are going to flip it over and fold one more time and then we're gonna open it, you're gonna flip it, and we're gonna start drawing right here. Hello little artists, today we're drawing a Independence Day Statue of Liberty. I'm gonna use my paper like this and it's gonna open this way, but remember you can go in the other side too. Let's start outside of the paper. The first thing we're gonna do is the ribbon that is underneath, and we're just gonna do underneath the folding part without crossing it, we're gonna do a little line here. And I'm leaving kind of like three or four finger space, but probably four for you. And we're going to do the same thing in the other side. Four finger space and I want to trace a line. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate my paper and I'm going to join these two lines with a curved line that goes down here like this. Okay. In here we're going to write happy 4th of July. I want to write my message at the end. Now we're going to do some fireworks. So for these fireworks, so I'm just going to go here doing triangles that go around and they join to each other, just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Now from this star shape, I want to leave a space and I want to do kind of like a drop shape like this. I want to do a couple that go around this star that I just did, okay? And if it goes down, you have to point the drop shape down. And if it goes up, you point it up. Okay, so I'm going to do one more here like this. Now we're going to add a couple circles and little lines. So I'm going to do here a circle and these circles can have like different sizes. They don't have to be the same size. We're just going to go like that. And I want to scatter these circles around the same star. And to finish this, we're going to do more drop shapes, but this time are going to be longer and tiny. It's going to make it look like it's exploding. Okay. I'm going to repeat the same idea down here and if you want you can put fireworks all around this. This part of the video is going to go a little faster but remember that you can stop the video until you finish this part. I'm going to leave the outside part like this and now let's open the paper. And we're going to start with the cartoon character. It's going to come out of the ribbon and it's going to go to the middle of the paper. Right here in the middle of the folding part we're going to do the nose and this nose is going to look like a letter J. Now next to the nose we're going to do two oval shapes for the eyes. So I'm going to do the first one here and I'm going to fill it with black and now I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to do the other oval shape. Now we're going to do the hair on top of the nose. I want to go up and I want to go to the left a little and I want to put a little dot. Okay now from this point I want to do two curves. The first one is going to go to the right like this and it's going to pass the eye and the second one is going to go a little lower and pass the eye too like this. Now let's do two more lines. So we're going to go down passing the eye. And the second one is going to go to the left. This, this one is a curve. I'm going to do one more little here, just really little. From this little line, I'm going to do a curve that is going to be the first part of the cheek. So I'm going to go like this. We're not going to close this line. We're going to leave a space. So we're going to go down like this. And I stop right there. The space is for the neck. We're going to do one and two lines here for the neck. And we're going to close on the bottom. Now for the smile, we're going to do the lips at the end with blue color, but for now I want to do a little smile, a little smirk. So we're going to do a teensy weensy line and then a smile, just like that. Okay. Now let's finish the hair and we're going to do a line that goes up, across the folding part and stop right there. Now on this side, I want to do a little curve and then up. Okay. They're kind of like the same distance. Now we can join these two by doing a curve that is going to go from side to side until I connect to the other side. Now let's do the crown. The crown is going to come from this point here, the join here, to the other side. So I'm going to extend this line up and we're going to do a curve like this. And I'm going to come from here to here. So I'm going to rotate my paper a little. I'm coming from this point, doing a curve and connect right there. Now inside we're going to put one more line and it's going to go really close to the head, just like that. And on the space that we did here, we're going to start doing rectangle shapes. I want to do here one in the middle and make sure that these rectangle shapes don't touch any of your lines. 
So I'm going to continue doing rectangle shapes, doing, leaving a space in between them, just like this. And I want to continue doing that until I get to the end. Now let's do the same to the other side, just like that. Now, before we do the top of the crown, we're going to do the hand that is holding here, the torch. Here on the corner, I'm going to do a U shape, an upside down U, and then a C shape. Now let's do the other fingers. So I'm going to do three oval shapes. So I want to start here on the corner. I'm going to do one and then two and then three. Underneath these fingers, we're going to do the handle of the torch and we're going to do a square shape just like this. We're going to imagine this line goes up and it comes up here and it comes up here and make sure that you have a space in the middle. Now let's do a half a circle or a U shape. And we're going to close here on the top. We're going to do a rectangle shape on top of this. And we're going to do a wider rectangle shape. This time it's going to go kind of like round on the corners. Like this. And make sure that you still have room here between the folding and this last square shape. Because we're going to do the flames of the torch. So for the flames, I'm just going to go round and doing triangle shapes like this. Okay. If you still have room, let's do one more around this one. And these triangle shapes don't have to be exactly like mine. Okay. To finish this picture, we're going to do the same rectangle shape we did here in this part, in the last rectangle shape. So I'm just going to go here. Remember not to touch any of the lines you have. And remember to leave a space in between rectangle shapes. Just like that. Well, let's continue doing the arm and we're going to go tracing a line that past the line of the hair and on the other side, the same thing. Okay. Now I want to do the elbow. So we're going to do it down and round and connect. Now let's just start doing her dress. So from this side, I'm going to go up a little and here next to the arm, I'm going to do two curves, one and two. And if you just have room for one, that's okay. Now around this arm, we're going to do one curve, two curves. On this corner where her neck is, we're going to do a circle. Inside, we're going to do a second one. And now from this corner, I want to come around and connect with this curve. Okay. Now from this corner, I want to come down and curve. And I'm going to do a second one that's going to go in, curve, and up. Inside here, we can put more lines just to make the texture of the fabric. So I'm going to go up and put a couple lines here just to give it the texture. In her right arm, she's holding a tablet. And this tablet is a little diangle. So I'm going to start here from the circle. And we're going to go up, right, up right down right down here where i stop i want to do her fingers that are sticking out behind the tablet so i want to start with a curve and we're going to do three fingers so i want to go one two three and when we have the last one we're going to connect up here okay now let's imagine this line go in behind the fingers and I'm going to go down a little bit and I'm going to stop right there. Let's finish her dress. Her dress comes from this corner down in the diagonal line and from this corner die in a diagonal line. Remember not to cross the folding part. Okay. And here, this line, we're going to make it double. That's what is leaving this room here on this curve. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to imagine the passing behind and connect with the dress. The last detail I want to do here is another square shape right here. So it's giving a little bit of volume here. Okay. To finish the Statue of Liberty, we just have to put the pointy part into the crown. Okay. And so for this, I want to start right on the center. So I'm going to follow the line of the nose and I'm going to go up here. And this is going to be my biggest triangle. Remember not to cross the folding part. So we're going to go here. I want to do a smaller triangles here right next to this one. In this side, on the right side, we're going to do two more. And the last one is kind of like sideways on here. 
Now from the middle, I'm gonna do three more to the left. So I'm gonna go and try to, to copy the same side triangles. Now, these last triangles are gonna go in behind the torch. So I'm just gonna see a couple lines. To finish this picture, we're just gonna finish the ribbon. So I'm gonna cross the line here on the folding part, up and up, okay? Now we're gonna go here and curve to the picture. We're gonna curve to the picture. Now we're gonna go in a little and we're gonna put an extra line that is gonna go higher than this one, okay? So the same thing here, I'm gonna go in a little and higher line, okay? Now let's do a curve. A curve and in behind we're gonna do a kind of like an M shade a sideways M or a sideways W it's gonna come from this corner I want to do my M shape here and do not cross the folding part okay so here right there and there that's it we finished this picture of the Statue of Liberty I want to add more details so wait until the end and now my favorite part is coming Let's color! Okay, little artists, we are done. This is how my picture turned out at the end. You can add more colors here. You can add more fireworks. You can add a little bit more design in your picture. Here I add the letters Happy 4th of July. Once that my red color was dry, I can add the black color so it doesn't smear on it. Now, let's see how it looks when we open. And here's the Statue of Liberty. I add a lot of fireworks in behind her. Remember, you can be creative and just add as many as you want. I wanna put this up a little bit here so you can see how with the green color, with uh, I use a little darker tone for uh, the shades that I put here. I just wait until the green color was dry and then, then I went with the dark color I went around these fabric wrinkles here. I add here lips on around her smile and it looks really pretty. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss lessons step by step like this one. See you next time.